I know y'all ain't in. I just want to let y'all know something, man. Y'all know I love you. Y'all know you my homies. And, uh, all right, we'll talk later. Peace. Ask you this about this life we live, and let me try to swerve some of this attention you give to them distant ass relatives. So you want to buy a used motorcycle. I'm going to tell you the most important things to look at mechanically when you're looking at a used motorcycle on your own. This is going to have a lot more to do with private party buying. If you're buying from a dealer, their service department should have already checked it out. If they haven't, you're buying from a crap dealer. So if you're buying a used motorcycle from a private party and you go to look at it, these are the things you need to look at. I'm Alex and I make the majority of my primary living off of dealing with used motorcycles every day. I buy them, I sell them, I evaluate them, I work on them. This is what I do. So when I tell you these are the most important things to look at on a used motorcycle, trust me, you need to look at these things, okay? We're going to start with tires. Tires are crazy important. Anyone that rides motorcycles can tell you there's a lot riding on your tires, okay? So tires are the most important thing that you're gonna look at first on any used motorcycle. Does it have good tires? Does it have crap tires? If it has shit tires on it, you're gonna have to buy tires and you need to take that account when you're negotiating your price on your bike. So, good tires. Good tires will have lots of tread left on them, will be properly inflated. So if you go to look at a used motorcycle and the tire looks flat, wonder about that. And good tires will be nice and smooth on the sides. They will not have a lot of cracks and what's called dry rotting on them. Okay, this is a good tire. Lots of tread left on it, no cracks or anything. Good tire. This is a bad tire. Completely worn out in the middle. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but cracks, dry rot, that's cracks. Bad tire. So that's the first thing you want to look at any motorcycle, sport bike, cruiser, dirt bike, I don't care. Look at the tires first. Does it have good tires? All right. Second thing, oil. Oil is the lifeblood of any motorcycle. It doesn't matter what it is. Oil is crazy important. If you're dealing with a two-stroke, it's a little bit of a different situation, but oil is crazy important, okay? Look at the oil on the motorcycle. Depending on whether you're dealing with cruisers or sport bikes and different types of bikes, some motorcycles will have a sight glass on the side, some motorcycles will have a dipstick. Whether it's sight glass or dipstick, you want to look at the oil. Now I'm going to show you in just a second how to do that. Okay, this is good oil. This is a dipstick. You guys can't really see it on there, so we'll do right this. Good oil. Alright, this one's on a sight glass. And this is crappy oil. It's dark. It's sludgy. It needs to be changed. That is crappy oil. The oil needs to be clean. In other words, it needs to not be really dark. It doesn't matter what kind of oil it is. Good, clean, fresh oil in a well-maintained motorcycle will not be dark or sludgy or look like liquid tar. Good motorcycle will be a nice, clean, light amber or light brown color and will not have a lot of particles in it. So the oil needs to be clean, reasonably fresh. If someone's trying to sell you a motorcycle, then you need to do an oil change on it, okay? That's just kind of good etiquette. It needs to be clean. It needs to be fresh and it needs to be up to the fill line. A sight glass or a dipstick will have a fill line, high low fill line. That oil needs to be in that range. If the oil is way too low or the oil is crazy dirty, you either need to run away or you need to negotiate that out of the price of your bike, okay? So, oil. Got it, oil. Next thing we need to look at on any motorcycle, brake pads. Your brakes are important, that's how you stop. Big time safety thing, brake pads. Anyone trying to sell you a motorcycle, it should have decently fresh brake pads on it or you need to negotiate that out of your price of your bike again. Brake pads, look at the front brake pads, look at the rear brake pads. Most of your modern motorcycles have disc brakes, front and rear. Look at the brake pads. There needs to be plenty of meat left on them and your brake rotors that they rub against, those discs that they rub against, need to not have a lot of grooves or a lot of scarring on them. Okay, those things are very important. That tells you whether the motorcycle is ridden hard, 
not hard or whether it was well maintained. Look at your brake pads. All right, these are good brake pads. Obviously they're brand spanking new, but see how those have got, that's the actual pad itself right there. Lots of meat on it, good brake pads. This is a not good brake pad. This one's not quite done yet, but it's getting real thin. That is a not good brake pad. Next up, if it's a chain driven motorcycle, <clears throat> which a lot of your motorcycles are, sport bikes, a lot of classic bikes, dirt bikes, dual sports, a lot of bikes are chain drive, okay? If it's not chain drive, if it's a drive shaft or a belt, you want to inspect the drive shaft, inspect the belt, make sure they look good. If it's a belt, make sure it's got decently tight tension on it. You know, there's not a lot of cracks in it. Those are pretty easy. The chain, if your bike has a chain on it that you're looking at, you want to look at the chain. You want to make sure it's not crazy, crazy loose. Most bikes, a good chain should have about an inch and a half of play on the bottom of it. If it's super, super loose, if it's covered in rust, if it's just absolutely filthy, or if it just looks worn out. This is a decent chain. It's a little bit dirty, but the tension is good. The links look good. There's no rust all over it. The sprockets look good. This is a decent chain. This is a crappy chain. It's loose. There's rust all over it. It's worn out looking. That is a bad chain. You need to take that into account because you're going to have to buy a new chain and probably new sprockets. If you put a chain on a motorcycle, your sprockets are probably worn out too. So if the chain looks incredibly shitty, you're probably going to have to replace the chain and you're probably going to have to replace the sprockets. And that's going to cost you some money, so take that into account as well. So chain, next really big important thing to look at on the bike. And the final point that I want to make, and there's a lot of more in-depth things to look at, but this is just a really basic list of just the basic, basic necessities you need to look at on a used motorcycle to know whether you need to run away or really look in closer. Look at the overall condition of the motorcycle on the outside. How does it look? Is the paint good? Is it covered in scratches and all kinds of nonsense? Is it all beat up everywhere? Is there exterior surface rust on all sorts of parts? You know, are, do the cables look good? Do your controls on your handlebars look good or do they look all weathered and worn out and covered in nonsense? Um, look at the exhaust, look at bolts everywhere. If there is rust all over the motorcycle and it looks like it's lived outside its whole life, you need to know that, you need to take that into account. This is an overall good condition motorcycle. If you showed up to look at this motorcycle, it's reasonably clean, there's not rust all over it, the tires look good, the oil looked good, everything looked really nice. This is not a good looking used motorcycle. When you show up to look at it, the paint's all jacked up, it's missing pieces, stuff is rusted everywhere, there's oil leaking out of it. This would be a motorcycle that if you looked at it used, unless you're a mechanic, you would want to take off the other direction. You know, just look at the overall look. Does it look nice? Does it look like this person took good care of their motorcycle and put some effort into cleaning it up before they sold it? Or does it look like this thing's been parked behind the tool shed for 60 years? Look at the overall condition of the motorcycle. Use some common sense. If it looks like total ass, take that into account. Either don't buy it or pay a lot less than what you would for it, okay? Those are the really important things to look at. Those are the absolute most important things. I will make some very in-depth videos on some of these topics and some other topics soon, but those are the absolute most important things you need to look at if you're looking at a motorcycle private party. And if you're dealing with someone who won't let you look at these things closely, do not buy that motorcycle because it will bite you. Take it easy, guys. Homies, homies.